has now become a safe haven for the bandits due to the current crackdown taking place in the Empire State. Concerned that on Saturday, 25th September 2021, 21 security personnel were killed in Dama and the Gangara villages by rampaging bandits. 15 of them soldiers, three mobile police, while three members of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. In addition, to yet to be a certain the number of civilians from the neighboring villages. This has gone to portray the seriousness of the problem, which requires concerted and urgent action by the declaration of total war on banditry. In fact, the information received now is that about 15 civilians were killed. Some were burnt alive in the Rumbu where they are putting the grains. What is that losing such a number of trained security personnel will further deplete the numerical strengths of the security personnel we have in the country, thereby jeopardizing the security architecture of the country. Further worried that most of the bandits have now relocated to Sabambini and the East local governments due to the sustained military operation at the Zamfara State. Exists. Concerned that while the crackdown on the bandits was taking place in Zampara State, no concerted effort or concrete measures had been taken in Sokoto State, leaving it totally exposed to the activities of the bandits. And the father worried that the present military onslaught on the bandits is not well coordinated because it is only being orchestrated in Zampara State instead of all the frontline states ravaged by banditry, i.e. Sokoto, Kazina, Niger, and the Kaduna states. The operation should be holistic instead of restrictive in order to produce effective and the desired results. And therefore, in this case, the various governments, state governments should actually take the path of the Empire State to make sure that they also have the same onslaught in their states. Therefore, the Senate accordingly resolves to observe one minute silence in honor of the fallen heroes and the civilian who lost their lives in the unwholesome activities of the bandits. Two, urge the President and Commander in Chief to declare the bandits as terrorists and they urge total war against them, including bombing all their locations to annihilate, annihilate and eliminate them. B, declare the non-leadership of the bandits wanted and track them wherever they are to arrest, uh, for arrest and prosecution. And C, direct NEMA and other relevant government agencies so as a matter of urgency, give all the necessary support to the victims of the menace of banditry in Sokoto and other parts of the country. In actual fact, as I'm talking now currently, people are leaving these villages to the neighboring region republic. So I think if care is not taken, more than 50% of the local government will now move to the Republic of Niger because there is no help coming from the government. Thank you very much. I'm Kabiru Gaya. Then the people of Kano South from Kano State. Mr. President, thank you for giving me the opportunity to support the motion moved by Senator Gobil, being that I'm the scander, a co-sponsor of this motion. We are really disturbed with the situ insecurity situation in this country. Remember that, Mr. President, you have tried your best for the chamber, the Senate did their best. And inviting the security so many times in this chamber, at the same time asking what, they are, what are their problems. And most of their problems are funding, and funds were provided to them to make sure they do their job. Unfortunately, the situation is getting worse. There are so many towns and states being, having this problem day and night. 
I know the situation in Dampara. The government have tried another measures by trying to cut off the lines, no network communication, and I believe it is working in Dampara. And therefore, when we are treating a problem in one location, we try to treat them in all the locations so that the bandits should not be escaping from one angle to another. Um, you remember, Mr. President, yesterday, we were in the chamber here, when a group of people, the shiat came in and did an attack in, in Guarumpa, and eight people were killed in that place. They also have another uprising in Mararaba from uh, around the Anyan area. So if you are not careful, Mr. President, without us knowing, they will soon come and invade Abuja. So therefore, Mr. President, there should be serious concern and intelligence network on the activities of these people. So I therefore commend the prayers raised by the sponsor of this motion. When we come to that, I support that. If there's any additional prayer, Mr. President, I'll add. Recently, also in Kaduna, just yesterday, bandits came in, attacked a whole village, and killed more than 10 people. So the issue of security, Mr. President, is a prime matter. Therefore, all measures we need to take and take a decision on this uh, 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 motion and put up prayers so that the government can be able to consider those prayers and act as fast as possible. Mr. President, I want to remind you that during your campaign as the president of the Ninth Senate, security was one of the major key points of your campaign. And during our legislative agenda, when we are setting up our legislative agenda, security too was one of the key points of that uh, legislative agenda. But what is happening in the country today, Mr. President, is something that is becoming unmitigated. Security has gone so bad in this country that we have to be very, very careful and very stringent in ensuring that we proper solution for the issues at hand. It's not about Sokoto State. Mr. President, across the whole Nigeria, across the whole nation, security has become menace. It has become cancerous. It has become so bad that the situation is becoming terrible, that uncontrollable too. Mr. President, security of lives and property is the primary responsibility of every government. Few motions we took this morning, or few bills we took this morning, are the bills that will address poverty. In addressing poverty, security also is a major part of uh, what this Senate and what I feel the government should immediately fix. Mr. President, apart from the bandits, kidnapping, the issue of kidnapping, the issue of killing. Now, bandits go to hotels, even in Abuja. Armed robbers go to hotels, terrorize the inmates of the hotels, rob them, kill them, and move. In the southeastern part of the country, you can't even move freely on, freely on the road anymore. They will kill you, murder you, drop you on the road. In the southwestern part of the country, the same thing is becoming so bad that government has to do something very quickly, otherwise it will go out of hands. And it is to get a level where finding solution would be very, very, would be very problematic. Mr. President, even in Abuja here, yesterday somebody was kidnapped in Gudu. Gudu just has boundary with Sokoro. Somebody was kidnapped in that place yesterday. So I feel that it's not just about Sokoto. We have to do something very urgently about security. I think the president has to address the nation. It has come to a level when he has to just address the national security. He's getting off hands. We must call a spade a spade. The sense of occupying sensitive position is to ensure that citizens, you know, um, get the best out of that government. And what are the citizens looking for from the leaders? Security and the welfare, se their security and their welfare. I think it's no longer talking on the floor of the Senate. It's time has come when the executive has to address the nation on security. The president must address the nation on security. That is my submission, Mr. Speaker. And uh, also to add that this Senate, as we've started and we've gotten to this appreciable level, should continue till we get to the end. The unfortunate incidents in Sokoto and other places, especially gener or generally uh, northwest, 
and uh, no central is worrisome. This Senate has done everything, including the recently passed and signed into law supplementary budget to address. And let us at this time also commend the Nigerian Army and other security agencies for doing their best. What we are faced with is very different. And uh, I don't think most of us imagined that such thing will happen by the bandits. Having said that, the Nigerian army responded even before the East current chief of army staff established a center in Katsina, uh, particularly Faskari, where they have an operational base. But you know, the Northwest, Sokoto, KB Zamfara is a wide, and their thinking is to concentrate on Zamfara now, Katsina moving to Sokoto, but as we say, things are getting really out of hand. What we need to do is to actually provide our own ideas generated from the people we represent, since we have a closer contact with them. And uh, secondly, what we are faced with now in that particular area is the embarrassing humanitarian crisis that is coming along with it. In the prayers, Mr. President, we need to look at it and expand it a bit and make it holistically so that it can touch on other areas, particularly the humanitarian crisis. And if there's any other advice that we could uh, give the uh, security agencies. I was with the chief of army staff on this issue. And uh, I want to tell our colleagues that the chief of army staff is from Sokoto. And I don't know, I think he's from that territorial district. So he is also particularly concerned. But we cannot stop but continue to give them the support and necessary advice so that this embarrassing situation will be brought to an end. In silence, in honor of the falling heroes and civilians who lost their lives in the unwholesome activities of the bandits. Those in favor, prayer one, say aye. Those against any the aye, say aye. Prayer two, urge the president and the commander in chief to A, declare the bandits as terrorists and wage total war against them, including bombing all their locations to annihilate and eliminate them. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against any the aye say To be declare all the known leadership of the bandits wanted and track them wherever they are for arrest and prosecution. Those in favor of say aye. Those against any the aye say And to see direct NEMA and other related federal government agencies to as a matter of agency Give all necessary support to the victims of the menace of banditry in Sokoto and other parts of the country. Those involved with this prayer say aye. Those against say neither aye say One minute silence. We continue to pray to Almighty God as a nation, as a people, to continue to keep this country together to unite the people of this country. And as leaders, we are also supposed to play our role, whether we are in the executive or the legislature or the judiciary or simply our leaders. But for polit political leaders, we have to ensure that we keep this country united. We provide an equitable, very fair environment for every Nigerian to feel safe, to feel secured, and of course, pursue his or her life legal life in a way and manner that there is no encumbrance or harassment in any part of the country. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. With this brief remarks on our 61st uh, anniversary, I will adjourn the Senate till the 5th of October, and that will be a Tuesday, 2021, at 10 a.m. prompt. Thank you.